Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and to an IKEA haul and come shop with me. We've been missing IKEA so much that now things are slowly starting to open up again. We went and we picked up a few new things for the house and while we were in store, we also saw some amazing things. So I have over 20 new things for this year to show you from IKEA. And before we went, I actually asked everyone on Instagram if there were any things that they would really recommend that was new for this year in IKEA and I got some amazing recommendations recommendations. Yes, yeah, so I hope you really like it. If you do, please consider subscribing. It's completely free to subscribe and I'd love to have you as a viewer. But first off, I wanted to show you these soap dispensers that I picked up for our son's new bathroom. And during this video, you may well hear banging because it's literally being done upstairs right now. But I thought these would be perfect for in the shower and I love that they look ceramic but they are in fact plastic and they had loads of glass ones in Ikea, but obviously that wouldn't be sensible in a boy's shower. So we plan to put shampoo in one of these and then body wash in one and I might even get my little label maker out and label them. And they were £1.50 each and they hold 450 ml of like body wash. So yeah, very pleased with those. Next up, I have some faux plants to show you guys and the artificial plant section in general in Ikea was just incredible. They had so much selection of different plants that you could get, different flowers as well, but we ended up getting these ones. And we actually have about five or six um, artificial plants from Ikea throughout our home. You might have seen it in our bathroom before, but this one is going to go in Caleb's new bedroom. And this was three pounds and you could of course get like a fancy pot for it, we actually quite liked that it was black. And this one you might have seen in Fraser's new room tour. This is like a hanging plant that sits on his shelves. It is really quite long and this was seven pounds. And again, you could probably get like a fancy pot for it, but it actually works in black for his bedroom as well. So I'm very pleased with these two purchases. Then we also picked up this black bamboo storage basket. We thought it'd be perfect for either the new bathroom to hold like toilet roll or it would work well in Fraser's bedroom as well. It's got little rope handles and it was 12 pounds. I really like the look of it. And I just went on to the website and it's actually out of stock now um, at our local store. So if this is something that you want, maybe just have a look on the website before you actually go. It's a nice size. Then we also picked up this bin for Fraser's new room. It's a black and it's made of steel, but then at the bottom, there's like a bit of cork as well. And this sits under his desk area. So like any bits of paper could go in it. And it was eight pounds. Then we also picked up four new mugs from Ikea. They were one pound 75 each and basically Matt is busy planning our new kitchen and we're gonna have a whole coffee station and he's getting really into it. So he's literally testing out mugs that will go in that cupboard. Um, and they came in this color, which is the beige color, but they also had gray, black and light pink as well. But I thought these would also be perfect when our renovation and build actually happens. It's starting in September. Um, we can actually use these for the builders because all the cups that I have are either really girly or they've got pictures of the kids on them. So we're thinking about making a little tea section in the shed outside because it's got electrics and then they can just like help themselves. So we might also use them for that as well. So yeah, very nice. Then we also picked up this little vase, which looks like a cookie jar, but it doesn't come with a lid or anything. So it is a vase. And we're gonna put this into the boys' new bathroom. They've got a little side area and we were gonna maybe just put some very simple eucalyptus in it. It was £7.50 and it is glass. So if we do put it in the bathroom, we will get that special like sticky stuff that you put on the bottom so that it doesn't like move around. Um, but yeah, we just really like the shape of that. Then I also picked up another vase and this is one of the items that everyone was recommending on Instagram. It's new for this year and it's only one pound, which is just such a bargain. It's a lovely shape as well. And I always feel like I need a vase. So I'm really pleased with this purchase. Then I also wanted to show you Fraser's new desk, which was in his room tour, but I asked Matt to bring down all of the new Ikea products and he literally brought the desk down. Yeah, so this is his desk here. It comes in this gray color or white as well. It was 70 pounds and it's just nice and simple. It's got this little sliding door on it. So you can put like some books and papers in there as well. And yeah, it's pretty simple to make as well. 
Then I also picked up this soap dispenser, which I think we're gonna put in our downstairs loo. It's like a stone color and it is actually breakable, but it's really lovely quality. It was £4.50 and they had it in other colors as well. They had it in a really lovely pink color and they also had a matching toothbrush holder for it and they had it in a green color as well. Um, so there was loads of choice and yeah, I really like it. So now I'm going to do a bit of a come shop with me and show you some products that are brand new for this year in Ikea, but for whatever reason, we didn't personally buy. But the first thing is a really cute little set of storage drawers that you highly recommended on Instagram as well. Um, these will be perfect to hold like stationery or makeup as well. I really like that you can see into this storage and it was eight pounds. It also has like a smoky look to it, like they're a little bit gray, but as I said, it's nice that you can see into them and similar storage on Amazon would be a lot more expensive and you guys also really recommended another like similar set of like plastic storage that you could either put in a drawer or have in your bathroom but I couldn't actually find it in store um, but I'll put a picture up here of it I think it was 10 pounds and as I said it would be perfect for makeup and would be a lot more expensive um, on other websites next up I wanted to show you this new laundry bag in Ikea that is only seven pounds. It's a stripy canvas bag. And what I really liked about it is it's just like the ones that we have and I get asked about them all the time. Ours were originally from Next and they were definitely more expensive than that. But it's really nice when they're canvas because they're easy to carry around. You can also shove them into a wardrobe if you need to. And if they ever start to smell or get dirty themselves, they're really simple to chuck in to the washing machine as well. Next up, we saw these really cool mushroom lamps that were 25 pounds and they would look great on a bedside table. And we also saw a very similar looking lamp that was also a Wi-Fi speaker. So you can hook it up to your Spotify account or whatever you have and it actually plays music out and it sounded quite good as well, but it's 150 pounds. And while we're talking about speakers, they also had some really cool new speakers in there that are Bluetooth. They were 45 pounds and they came in a denim color or a gray color as well. And you can either have this speaker plugged in or you can put batteries in it and you can actually carry it around with you. So this might be something that I get in the future. I think it'd be great. Like if it's a sunny day, you could just carry out the speaker with you and it can just hook up to the music on your phone. And it did look really stylish. Then we also saw this really nice bed that we were gonna get for Fraser's bed, but we couldn't actually find the right size. But just a simple black and white check sheet that is also reversible, so you can either have it white or black on the other side, and it starts from just 15 pounds, so very reasonable. Then while we were in the bedding section, we also saw some really nice throw cushions that would suit this set as well, and I think they were like 13 pounds and just looked really nice. I was also desperately looking for these really nice storage boxes that you guys recommended as well and that are new for this year, but they were completely out of stock. I'll put a little picture here for you. Um, they were like white with gray and then they had a really nice wooden top on them. So I'm hoping they come back into stock. They were 19 pounds and I just thought it'd be great for like the boys rooms um, or for even in here for toys and stuff like that. Something else I was desperately trying to find in Ikea were these brand new little gray felt bags. They're six pounds for this set of three and I thought it would be perfect for like by the front door for like keys, hats, gloves, that kind of thing. And it's just so reasonable. They look way more expensive than six pounds for three. They almost look like felt bags, but they are actually made out of polyester. Something else that I was on the hunt for was their new cast iron range of cookware. You guys have been saying to me that I need a new frying pan for my cooking videos. So I thought I would get that, but it's completely out of stock anywhere. So definitely one to keep an eye out for. Also new for this year is this very stylish clock that is black and gold and it has like what looks like an old school like pendulum hanging down from it. But I don't actually think it ticks. Um, but we love the Ikea clock that we already have, but this one does look really cool and it's only 19 pounds. Also new for this year was this office memo board that you can kind of clip things to and we thought it'd be perfect for one of the boys' rooms to have next to their desk areas. Um, we just couldn't find it in there, but it was 13 pounds and yeah, it looked really cool. 
And while we're talking about office equipment, they also have a new desk pad, which is only four pounds and it's actually leopard print and it's almost a little bit see-through, but you can use this as like a mouse mat or just to have as like an area um, on your desk. This next item I was desperate to find because it is just so funny, but it's completely sold out everywhere. It's a cushion that once you unzip becomes a quilt and it looks like a slanket. So you can wear it as a person. It looks ridiculous, but it's supposed to be really nice and warm. I think this would be perfect for like going camping or something like that. I don't know if I'd like wear it around the house, um, but yeah, people are just going crazy for it. Something else that so many of you guys messaged me to say you really recommend are the IKEA outdoor rugs for summer. They have this one that looks so trendy and I was really trying to find it and it was only 60 pounds and just looked really good. We also saw this really cool storage table. It comes in two different sizes and it would be perfect to store things like blankets or if you have kids, it would be great for toy storage as well for like those bigger toy items. Um, and I think it was 45 pounds. There was also this really cute bed tray in Ikea for 10 pounds and it looked perfect for having breakfast or coffee or reading or even like working on an iPad or something like that. And obviously we're not at the stage where we can have like breakfast in beds, but one day I might buy it. <laughs> If you're short on space, we also saw this really cool little glass side table that almost goes under your couch. You could just have a drink on it or you could put your laptop on it as well. And I really like the look of it. It was only 15 pounds. I also saw this really cute rattan rocking chair that will be perfect for a nursery. It was 150 pounds and obviously I don't have a nursery anymore, but I thought it was like a really nice chair. A lot of you also recommended the IKEA ribbed garden wear. So it's plastic, but it looks really fancy and like glass, but it's safe for kids or outdoors as well. And it's £1.50 per glass. And we also saw a really nice peg shelf. And we actually had one made for Jackson's bedroom, like by a carpenter, and we paid a premium for that. But this looked so similar. So if you were looking for something like the one that we got Jackson, um, they had it in Ikea. And then we bought these little baskets from Not On The High Street and we just have little toys in it and it works really well. Yeah, so that is everything that I wanted to show you guys. It was a shame that a few of the brand new things that I really wanted to get weren't there, but I'm gonna keep an eye out. So I'll update on Instagram if anything comes back into stock. Um, but it was really nice to actually go because Ikea was one place we were really missing. And the displays in there were just incredible. They had this amazing walk-in wardrobe and the way that they make the rooms look is just really inspiring. So I'm glad that I went and I hope you enjoyed this video and seeing what was new let me know what you think in the comments below and i'll see you in my next one bye guys